Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be moving into a brand new journal. I am completely done with my old one now, so it is time for me to set up my new journal. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today. So I will show you just a few things in my old journal. This isn't gonna be a complete flip through because for personal reasons, I just don't want to show everything. But I will show you kind of what I did with the setup with this one, and then we will move into one of my uh, new one that I'm going to go into. This one you guys probably saw in um, one of my thrift store videos that I did. If you have not, um, it is in, I have a playlist set up with thrift store videos, and it is included in one of, in that playlist. So if you'd like to check that one out, you can go there. Um, so I am going to be going into this one. But first, I will show you the one that I was in. Um, so this is a composition notebook that I transformed a little bit. Um, I like adding my own uh, personality to them instead of just keeping the marble cover. So I did take, I have a lot of scrapbook paper kits that I would get at um, Michael's mostly or Hobby Lobby. I did get a good set of Hobby Lobby too. But um, I just take it and I cover these. I do add a pocket here and I can share some of this too. <laughs> these are flowers from my in-laws tree. Um, these flowers do not last long. In fact, they're already off the tree. So I'm glad I got some and I just dried them. Quick tip, if you want to dry your flowers fast, uh, take some flowers, you know, like pressing them instead of doing them in a book that takes a really long time. You can take the flowers and get a paper towel, put the flower and the paper towel, like kind of show you here. So like if you have a paper towel, put your flower in here and do this, and then take a heavy dish of some sort that can go in the microwave. And you set that on it, put it in the microwave for a minute at a time and keep checking it until the flowers are completely dried out. And you get really pretty ones. So like this right here. I think they turned out so pretty. See? And that's exactly how they turn out. They just get nice and flat, they're nice and dry, so that way they last forever. So I did do that and I wanted to keep them in my notebook here. I may ever sometime, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I just wanna keep them all in here or I may take some out and kind of use them here and there. But I'll just stick that right there for a second. But anyway, for now, I keep them in here. Um, and here's another little idea too. So for Easter, we did color some eggs with my with our daughter and we had the leftover uh, Easter egg dye. <laughs> and so we just took some brushes and stuff and we just had fun with her and she just loved painting these little pages. So we just painted, painted some pages. It came with a crayon where you could like draw on the eggs before you dye them and then put the color and it still kind of worked on the pages too which was really neat so that was really fun to do so i kept kept those and then this was just a birthday card from her third birthday and i found it recently and i just decided to stick it in here just so i had it and i didn't like lose it again so i made this big pocket in here too and it just holds all my goodies right in the front there and then, and, and um, some of my uh, scrapbook sets, they have pages that have little sayings on them. This was one of them, be happy, be bright, be you. And I just glued it on there to where I could have it as a little pocket too. Um, oh, and I also, I put, I use a, which you'll see me do this too, but I use a Dymo and I print off a little sticker for the date. So this is when I started it. I started this journal March 24th. And then at the back, I do the same thing. I don't know if you can see that. But I, I put the date down here as well. And of course, another pocket back here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing in my journal, my new one. I am not going to decorate the cover like this. I might do that in another video where I show you guys how I do this. But since this cover is already really beautiful, I am just gonna add the pockets on the inside because I love having these pockets in here. Um, I also love to add sprinkle watercolors 
in here. So I don't do every page, but I will go through and I will do some of some pages with watercolor. What I also like to do is, I'll go to a better page, it shows it. Oh, I'll go to this one back here. So I, like I said, I do watercolor throughout, but then I also do acrylic. I will do a few pages of acrylic because I kind of like having a writing journal and an art journal. And I think it's neat to be able to maybe look back someday through my writing journals and then also get a glimpse at like where my art was at that time. So I'm gonna be doing some acrylic pages as well because I like, you know, doing all this fun stuff in my writing journal. Um, I also save the little tea bag quotes, <laughs> like for my tea. This one, um, they have quotes on them. And this one is, What a Desolate Place Would Be a World Without a Flower by Clara Lucas Balfour. I thought that was beautiful. So I just stuck it in there with that. So that's what I'm going to be doing is that. And I kind of, see, I like save. I put all sorts of stuff in here. I like memory keeping in my journals. I like saving little bits here and there. Um, I like doing my handprint. Well, I just did my handprint in this one, but I typically do my daughter's. In every single journal, I have a spread where I put my daughter's handprint in it because I just l love having her handprint in my journal. And I like saying, well, eventually, um, I'll get to see like how it's gotten bigger. And I don't know, I just think it's so sweet having her handprint in there. So what we're gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna do the pockets in this one and then do the watercolor and acrylic throughout. So that's where we're gonna start. Um, again, this is a soft touch cover by U Style. And I just need to take this off. Okay. I already picked out some papers that I'm going to use for my pockets. I like the idea of having the small pocket on there too, so I picked out this image, which I really liked. It has some of that gold foiling on it too. And then I thought this was really pretty for a background, so I'm gonna use this as the main big pocket and this for the small one. So I'll crack this open here. And I think I'm gonna do mine a little differently. The last time, I have the pocket going this way, along here. Um, I think I might do it going this way this time. Okay, I just need to get the right size here. And of course, I have this. Okay. And this one I'm still gonna go have going this way, I think. Okay. I think that's about, that's about right. And I like to leave a little bit of an edge on here because I'll show you how I like fold it in so it kind of can pop out a little bit more. So, okay, let me measure this again. Um, okay. I have that there. Let's go down a little bit. And I thought this color looked really pretty with this like pale pink in here too. So I thought it went really, really well. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it where I need to cut it. So let's go right about there. So I'm gonna cut it right here. So anyway guys, I hope you bear with me while I'm doing this tutorial. This is like, of course, my first actual tutorial of me doing something, <laughs> like making something on here. Um, so if I'm like fumbling around and stuff, don't mind me. Um, it all just takes practice and time. So just bear with me there. <laughs> all right. So let me see if I got this. Got this right. Yep. That seems about right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is measure out. Okay, get it right where it needs to be. Okay, let's measure a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna fold.
fold, 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 fold. I totally did not get that. Okay. Gotta smoosh it out just a little bit more until it's not even. So here we go. That's a little better. And I unfortunately forgot to bring my bone folder in here. So I'm going to use, if you don't have a bone folder or know what that is, it's just, um, I mean, it is a piece of bone, but it's just a really hard piece that you can just, or a tool that you can just run across your edges here to make the crease crisper. If you don't have that, you can also just use scissors, like what I'm doing, because I forgot to bring it in here. Okay, so that's in there like that. Yay, it's pretty even. All right, so now I just gotta do this side. And I'm gonna fold it along here, hopefully. Let me see. Right there. Also, another trick, which I'll show you too, is that you don't wanna get it like right in the crease there. You gotta give it some room or else it's gonna really like bulk up your binding part right here. And I do not like that. And it's okay, it's okay to me too, if this side is a little bit bigger on the folded part, cause you're not gonna notice it. Gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna pull that in too. Make sure it's all hunky dory. Whee! Yep, that is good enough to me. Okay, what I also do to make the pocket kind of like stick out a little bit more, be a little bit bigger, is that I fold the bottom part up a smidgen too. So we're gonna just do that too. Making that edge crisper. Okay. And if you fold it this way, if you do the bottom part, I notice that like you can get a little bit of a lip right here, a little part that's like sticking out. I just go in and just cut it off so you don't see it on the outside. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. It's not that bad, not that noticeable, but there. Okay. Make sure that fits good. Why certainly? Okay, so before I like glue it in here, I'm gonna go ahead and like, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and unfold this again. And we're just gonna use it as a reference. That is what we're gonna do. Okay. So I'm going to, for my second pocket here, I'm just gonna trim it right here. And by the way, I'm not the world's greatest cutter. So if my edge is not like super straight, then that's the edge that I will fold in. So that way I have the straight part on top. Okay, so now I'm also gonna use my first one that I did and I'm gonna use it as a guide to where the folds need to go. And I'm gonna use this to score it. Get the edge a little nice and crisp. Okay, got that one down there. And I get this one. Do the same thing. So this just kind of makes it a little quicker that we are not like doing them, doing them each individually. You can just kind of get them done all in one, all in one swoop here. That's the bigger one, okay. And that way you can just glue them, glue those pockets in there and you're good to go. This one was just an extra sheet that I brought in here in case I messed up. So I'll just set that down here. Get that get it out of our way. Okay. So we've got the lovely pocket made. What I am going to do too is take my glue. I use Fabrifix Permit Fabric Adhesive Glue. This glue is really good. I use it for all of my bookmaking projects. Um, does work good with fabric, uh, leather, um, lace.
lace. I've used a lace before, and of course it's really good with paper as well. This is just what I, I mean, it's a really good sturdy glue. The pockets are not gonna go anywhere with this, and it dries pretty quickly. It's actually kind of the same equivalent as a hot glue gun, like the glue you get out of a hot glue gun, only of course you don't have the heat tool, you can just get it right out of the bottle. Um, so that's what I like to use for this. What I'm gonna do first, before I glue it in my journal, is I'm going to, see I fold these up. I fold the bottom edge flap that we made. I fold it up and what I'm gonna do is just get some glue here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this up like that. And just hold it for a couple seconds to let that um, set. And then when we glue it in the book, we're just gonna put the glue right along here and get it in there. It's even kind of like stringy, like a hot glue gun. Like if, you, if any of you guys have ever messed with a glue gun, like you, you, know, you are gluing something and then you pull the gun away and then you have like that long strand of glue. That's kind of what this does too. It's got that same, same effect to it. Okay, so those are glued down. Right here, see, that was fast. And now, like I said, I'm gonna, we're gonna put the glue all around here. And I put, a, I try to put as much as possible because I don't want this pocket going anywhere. And for some reason, it was just with this bottle, but I, this bottle is really hard to squeeze. Like it's just tough. I don't know if this bottle is like thicker than <laughs> others because I've bought in this glue several times before and this bottle just seems like extra tough to me. But okay, we almost got the glue down. Okay, that was, that was tough. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get my pocket lined up here. And I really mainly just kind of get, I want it flush with this edge right on here. Because like I said, I don't want it to go too much inside here because it'll bulk up the binding too much there and I do not like that. So. Get it lined up much as possible. Okay. And I'm not about perfection. So if it's a little off from my folding job or whatnot, it's not going to bother me. Um, it's just a simple pocket for me to use. Nobody else is really not paying any attention to it. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't go for like perfection. Like, it, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do do do. Okay. Get it all smushed on there good enough. Make sure the bottom's good. Okay, this color's really pretty. I really like this. I like the color combination here. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna add my image right here. And I'm gonna do it as a side. So what I'm gonna do is put glue right along here. Yep, yeah, get down there. Get down there, glue. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, this bottle. <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to. Okay, there we go. There we go, my friends. It's a coming. It's working. All right, gonna get it. Try to lined up in the middle just a little bit. That's good. Push those edges down. Okay. And then that way I've got an extra little pocket. So I've got this one here, which is pretty nice and big. And then I'll have this little one that I can store store little snippets in. 
Yeah, I think I, I mentioned it before in one of my other videos, but I do. I I use my journal as a way for like for healing. Um, I use it as a way to work through things. Um, but a lot of the time, most of my journal journaling really is memory keeping. I love keeping memories. I love writing down things um, that we've done throughout the day or visited or things my daughter said that I just think's cute or funny. I mean, I just, I love doing that. And one of the other things I like doing is like saving receipts from places we've gone to, um, tags of products that I've liked, all sorts of different things. Okay, now that we've got those glued in there, um, see how that pocket, like this is a, of course a composition book. It's got the rounded corners, which I love. Um, and the pocket, of course, wasn't round, so I've got that sticking out there. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just follow along with the curve of the composition book. And I'm just going to snip that off. Because I, personally, don't like seeing that hanging out there. Okay. Now, we can just go ahead and glue on the back pocket and do the same thing. I don't stick a picture on the back pocket. This one's just going to be a plain one, so we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put these pieces in and fold this up and glue it. Okay, what's going on here? Look okay. Should this should be about the same as the other? Okay. Yep. So I'm just gonna take this, get the glue down there, glue that, glue this. Gonna hold it for just a second to let the glue get a grip, get a hold of itself there. <laughs> get a grip, get a grip, glue. Come on. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this glue down here. I don't know if you guys, I mean, I don't know, like all you journalers out there. Um, I mean, I just find this super fun, like just kind of breaking in the new journal. Um, it's kind of, I mean, I'm done with my other one. So now I get to spend time making a new one, getting ready for another chapter in my life, getting ready for new memories to keep. Ugh, I just love it. Cause like, I can't wait. I just can't wait to see like, you know, when this journal is going to end, when, what memories the pages are going to hold. It's just so fun. Okay, come on glue. Sorry, it's taken a while with that glue bottle. Phew, that is a tough one. I know I've said that, but it seriously is like, <laughs> really hard to get that glue out of there. Okay, gonna line this up again, back here. Again, try not to make it too far next to that binding. That's good, right about there. Just gonna hold it for a second and make sure that glue attaches really good. Cool thing about this glue too is that it kind of gives you like a second to adjust it. So if I'm off a little here or off a little there, I can move it around just a little bit before it really I mean, it is, it is a fast bonding glue. It will grab pretty quickly, but it still gives you a couple seconds to move it before it's like permanently there. Okay. All right, we got the pockets on there, nice pockets. I'm gonna do the same thing and trim my little, my little corner down here so it's nice and even with the composition book. Okay. Ew. It's 
Sorry, I had glue on my finger. I don't want to get it on the cover. Okay. All right, so now we have our little pockets in there. Okay, now we're on to my favorite part. <laughs> the pockets can kind of take a little bit of time there. Um, but, I mean, really not that much time. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy and straightforward. Um, so now we get to move on to some watercolors. I'm going to do the watercolors first. And I'm going to use the set that I showed you guys in another video. This is the Royal Lang Nickel Essentials Flip Kit. So I'm going to flip these out and I'm going to use some of these today to just watercolor some pages. Again, I do not watercolor every page. I'm just going to go through and just do a few pages here and there. And then I'll go in and do some of the acrylic pages. So let's just go in here and do this. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do my trick again. <laughs> I have to show you guys in another video. I take a toothbrush that I just had around, a nice clean one, and I dip it in some water. And let's see, Ooh, got some there already. Let's try, Ooh, pretty green. So you get that, get the watercolor all over there, and then you can do some nice splatters. Wow, this watercolor is really pretty. I love this. Yeah, if you guys want this, this is at Walmart for $11 and some change. It was like 11, almost 12, I think. Um, but these colors are beautiful. So yeah, there's some watercolors. Okay. Um, Okay, usually I don't mind if the pages are wet, um, but I really don't want to get this all wet. So I'm just going to kind of like, I'm going to go a few pages and I kind of space out my watercolors and acrylic. I just, okay, so like I did a watercolor page here, so I'll go a few pages. I'll say this is acrylic, then I'll go a few more pages and I'll say, yeah, that'll be acrylic. And then I'll say this is watercolor. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I'll do some of this red or orange or red color. It's really pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, look how vivid those colors are. Man, <laughs> like, okay, this set is probably the most expensive set that I have, this $11 one, because most of mine I get like really, really cheap. Um, and so these are like the most, oof like vividly bright colors that I have. Oh, wow, they're so pretty. Okay, so there's another page. Okay. Da, da, da. This is the first time me using one of these U style ones too, so I don't know how the you know pages are gonna hold up to watercolor. But uh we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Another acrylic page. And then the watercolor page. <laughs> I'm gonna do another purple because purple is really pretty. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. I can't get over how pretty these watercolors are. Mm, that's pretty. Okay, moving on to the next acrylic. more color here. I just kind of like and go where it feels feel like I need to put some more. I do some of this like mustard yellow. Okay, we'll do another acrylic page here and watercolor. So yeah, this is just kind of what I do. Ooh, wait, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I forgot there's some other ones up here. I'm gonna get some of this blue. This blue up here looks really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try some of that. Oh, too much water, hello. Didn't get enough on there. 
Oh, that was not as bright here. Maybe I'm not getting it. That one's not as okay that's good enough so this is just kind of what I do I just kind of like doing little pages here and there with watercolor kind of gives you like a little surprise when you're writing <laughs> like oh yay coffee page and then like I said I did the acrylic so I'll do like another acrylic here Do another splatter one here. You guys get the idea. I guess I'm, I mean I'm not gonna just to save you guys on some time. I'm not gonna go through the entire book, um, because like I said, I just go through and skip around and do some watercolors, and then I would go in here and I'll do one for you guys. I'm just gonna okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go up here, and in between those two watercolors I did up here. I'm gonna do a page of acrylic. So I'm gonna do that for you guys real quick. Um, let's see what color, I'll just do this pretty blue. So I'm just gonna like squirt this on here. <laughs> That's how I do it guys. I don't use a paint palette sometimes, I just get on there and put the paint and then we're just gonna, just gonna do this. I do, I probably should get this out from my right now to save my other pages from getting acrylic all over them. I'm gonna put this underneath here. There we go. I really like this too because I actually keep a composition notebook as an art, just an art journal. And I love how the paint just thickens up these pages in here. And I just, I love doing this and having some pages that I can just doodle on or add some more paint to might have to get just a little bit more Turned it one handed there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Just gonna get this side finished. Again, this is just my preference. This is what I like to do in my journals. Um, Cause it just kind of breaks things up a little bit for me. And like I said, I like adding my daughter's handprint and stuff in here. And this just gives me like a little space to do that. Or sometimes I like printing off pictures of her or family or just memories, us taking walks and different things. And I'll also use them as like a, kind of like a scrapbook page or a memory page. And I'll just include the photos on these pages. Just gives like a good, nice little background for this too. Okay, so there's that page. And again, just so I can save you guys on time, I'm not gonna go through the whole notebook and do this. So um, this is just what I do. Like I said, I go through and just do a few of the pages with watercolor and then I go through and do some with acrylic. Okay, and I also, something else I learned, um, if you don't wanna wait for the acrylic and watercolor to dry, I do bust out a hair dryer and I will dry it really good, um, you know, until it's completely dry and it only takes like not even a minute <laughs> to dry this stuff. 
um, and then you can move on to the next page. Um, I also wanted to show you guys when I do the date, I showed you guys I use a Dymo. Yeah, Dymo. And I will just type out the date and use the sticker um, I showed you in the one that I completed. But I will put the date at the beginning of this journal of when I, like when I actually start this journal. So I will date it um, in the front and in the back so I know when I started and ended. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Paige. Don't start sticking to me now. Oop. Okay. So anyway, this was kind of more of a longer video. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but I hope you guys also enjoyed seeing the setup of my notebook. Um, and some other time, maybe I'll show you um, how I transform the cover of a composition notebook. Um, but this is it for this video. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. And have a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in the next one.